And notice right away, Blender is telling us there's something going on in the eyes. We've got these highlighted lines once we hit the button. So something is going on with this, these eyes here. If I zoom in here, you can kind of see that it looks like there's some kind of mess up around right here where the, something's popping through. So let's try and take these eyeballs out. Let's just hit L on the keyboard and that will select anything that was linked to that. And we can also hover over here on this eyeball and hit L and that will link those together. And let's just pop these out of this geometry. So to do that, hit P on the keyboard that will pop or separate it and you'll say by selection. And now if you look to the right here, we've got a new layer for the eyeballs here. So let's double click on that and rename it eyes. And now we have our eyes and we have Suzanne. So now if we turn off the eye layer, you can see that is the reason we had a big issue. We had some eyes that were just floating there and Suzanne has a two big holes in her head, which are where her eyes go. So what we're gonna do is make these manifold, the eyes and the Suzanne head here. And to do that, we just need to fill these gaps. So let me show you how to do that in edit mode. So there's a lot of ways that you could do it. Let's just keep our eye layer turned off. So let's just go into Suzanne here and make sure we're still in edit mode. And once we're in edit mode, we could do a lot of things. We could go into point mode and select all the different points around her eye by holding shift. Or an easier way is just to double click on that point and it'll select all of those in that loop there. Another way we could do the exact same thing is if we're in edge mode, just click on any one of the edges around her eye. You could also hold shift and click all those edges or the easiest way, just double click on one and it'll get that whole loop. Then to fill in this hole, the easiest way to do that is just to hit F on the keyboard and that will fill in this hole. So now we've just filled in that eyeball. Let's go ahead and double click on this eye and hit F on the keyboard and that will fill in that hole. And let's do the same thing for the eyes. So let's hit tab and switch back to object mode. And then now let's select the eyes, turn them back on and go back into edit mode with tab. Now you can see we just have these eyeballs that look in wireframe mode. And let's turn Suzanne off for just a moment. And let's just look around this object here looks pretty good it looks like we have the same the same issue on this one it's just an open kind of 3d shell or you know just kind of floating there so what we need to do is just close those up as well too so just double click on those hit f and double click on this one and hit f now we have manifold items for our design scene here if we check all again notice we still have some non-manifold edges so Let's hide Suzanne again. And it looks like there's just these floating edges here. So to do that, let's just hit X on the keyboard and delete those edges. Now let's check all. And now we fixed it. We have zero non-manifold edges. If I click on it, nothing happens. So this is now 3D printable. And now let's go back into object mode by hitting tab. Go back to our Suzanne model, turn it on. And let's check all again. Now we have no non-manifold edges so that's perfect it's watertight we do have some overhangs going on here so this will help if you've downloaded models from thingiverse or my mini factory and maybe they're just not ready or have some type of error this is usually the easiest way is just to make sure they're manifold which means just watertight it's a solid mesh so the challenge for this video is to reduce your windows to one viewing port and to use the edit mode to pop out those eyes once you've got the two meshes separated, then just fill in those holes and check all under the 3D printing tab. So the next video, I wanna teach you about Booleans where we could 3D print this, but we still have the issue with the eyes popping through the face here. So what we're gonna do in the next video is teach you how to join these two items together so that you can actually 3D print this model. Let's get started.